Well, guys, this couldn't have happened at a more inconvenient time for me. <laughs> We've got some more Dragon Quest 3 HD2D remake news. I am literally leaving on vacation today, so I had to cram this video out hardcore. If you appreciate that and enjoy Dragon Quest JRPG content, top 10 videos, and reviews, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications to all. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. With your help, it's possible. Anyways, let's get into the news here. So. I'm going to show you a bit of the English. There was some English footage released, but then there was 30 minutes of Japanese exclusive footage that was released. So I'm just going to let that run after I explain what the updates are. We are going to be able to recruit monsters. We are going to be able to send them to a place. I can't remember what the name of the place was, but it, it's just outside of Romilly. It's very close to Romilly. You can actually zoom there. Zooming costs zero MP now, by the way, which is super nice. And you can build a monster party. So if you remember in the classic, even right in the NES version, you could uh, bet on the monster arena and stuff like that. So in this version, you actually build a team of monsters and you use those monsters to battle for you in the monster monster arena so that is pretty cool super stoked for that now it hasn't been revealed whether or not you can summon that monster party in battles outside of the arena kind of like what you could do in dragon quest 8 i hope you can that would be pretty awesome but there's no signs of that yet you do not need a monster wrangler in your party in order to recruit these monsters you can just recruit them with your hero you don't need the monster wrangler in your party at all you'll run into them in towns and stuff like that you can recruit them that way as well Another thing, Puff Puff is here to stay. So we are going to be able to do the Puff Puff in Asaram. I don't know what it's going to be, what the town name is in this version. Probably Asaram. I remember it being Asaram in the NES version. Anyways, Puff Puff is confirmed. Now I do have some bad news. It's not 100% confirmed still, but people have played the newest demo of this game and they explored around and could not find the Pachisi boards or the Pachisi uh, locations. So I know David Vink for one went north of Romilly where there usually is a Pachisi place and it is not there. With that on top of the boomerang being found in one of the early towers which was originally a Pachisi exclusive weapon in the Dragon Quest 3 remakes on the uh, Super Famicom, this could be the, the nail in the coffin when it comes to Pachisi not being in the game. I'm not giving up hope yet but the odds are not in our favor, unfortunately. Maybe they have Pachisi in here somewhere else, or maybe you can access it from, like, one of the towns or something later on, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried about that. I do personally feel that all the extra content we're getting will make up for Pachisi if it isn't in the game, but it's still hard to call it the definitive edition of the game without Pachisi. Another thing is they showed some gameplay of you being able to be the king of Romilly, which is always a blast and fun to mess around with. We got to see some of the abilities that the Monster Wrangler is going to have, like he's got like tongue lashing and attack attacker and stuff like that, which is super nice. Some handy debuffs, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to learn breath attacks and stuff like that as well later on. It was finally revealed what all the different variations of the job classes will look like. So remember in my last... Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake video, I said you're going to be able to customize and choose between a couple different looks for each of the job classes. So in the Japanese footage that I'll be showing, uh, you'll be able to see all the different looks you'll be able to choose from for each and every job class. So that's really cool. You can kind of know what that's going to look like ahead of time. Uh, obviously, it's not going to show all the different color variations, but that's up to you. You can change all the different colors of uh, the hair and stuff like that. So look forward to seeing that in some of the Japanese footage. Here you're seeing the fight against Kandar, now known as Robin Ud, in the newer versions of the game. One of my favorite bosses in Dragon Quest 3, honestly. I just love this guy so much. So that's about it for actual new news that we've gotten from this footage, but overall, I hope you enjoy the Japanese exclusive footage that's to come here. I'm just gonna play that out, because like I said, I don't have a lot of time. I gotta get going. I'm leaving for like a week and a half here, so I, uh, I hope you guys all enjoy this, and I know I enjoyed watching through all of it, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week and a half, and I'll see you guys when I get back. Thanks, guys.
さ、我がロマリア城へ旅の者よ一体何用で<音楽>その身なりそうかマリア藩の若者じゃなカンダタというものがこの城から
金の冠を奪って逃げたのじゃもしそれを取り戻せたならそなたを勇者と認めようあの英雄オルテガから受け継いだ勇気を示してみせよ期待してあるぞはあ。
ここまで来られたな褒めてやるぜだが俺様を捕まえることは誰にもできん<音声>さらばだ<笑>
奴らめやっつけてやる金の冠を返すから許してくれよな、なそんなこと言わずにさ、許してくれよな、なそんなこと言わずにさ、許してくれよな、なありがてえ。よかったですね、兄貴またどっかでいいアジトを見つけて出直しやしょう見つけたぞ盗賊官だぞ親分奴らが来ましたよおっとこうしちゃいられねえあんたのことは忘れないよじゃあなすみません取り逃がしましたまったく逃げ足だけは一人前だなその冠はぜひ君自身の手でロマリア王に届けてくれこれで関所も通れるようになるはずだ兵士長それだけではあの関所を通れるようには誠の勇者わしに代わってこの国を治めてみる気はないかどうじゃよろしいではこれよりそなたがこの城の王様じゃあ。
しましょういいでしょうまあ真面目なのねじゃあ気が変わったらまた声をかけてちょうだいねあらあらそんなにいっぺんにお相手できないわよ一人でついてきていい嬉しいじゃあ私についてきてさあこっちよ。